Hey everybody, what's up? This is the first podcast I've done in a, uh, a while. Um, the reason for it being, I was uh, move houses and stuff like that, so I'm all sorted now, and I w- I'd like to get back into this for the new year as well. And no, it's not like one of these New Year's resolutions to start up a podcast. I was doing it uh, last year, on and off, but um, it was I found it difficult to distribution of the podcast and websites and all this other stuff I was trying to figure out and and in time as well but now I'm in a good place I can put a lot of time and effort into it and it's something I've always wanted to do I think it's pretty fun so um, I'm going to try my best and see what comes of it and that's what I'm going to do um, I'd like to keep this podcast somewhat light-hearted I think um, I don't want to go into crazy deep topics and and all this other stuff uh, I'll just go with whatever topics I kind of feel like at the moment. Like if I listen to some, if I hear something interesting throughout the day, I think I'll bring it up on the podcast. Um, I'll discuss it. Uh, if anybody wants to get in touch or whatever it is, we can work it away to like just discuss topics or whatever. I think that could be pretty fun. Um, I know I just said I don't want to talk about anything serious, but uh, I just want to, this is just something that caught my attention Um. I don't know if it was yet was it yesterday or the day before the whole um I don't know if anybody knows about this or uh, Logan Paul. Uh, I didn't know about these these well there's two brothers I think it is Logan Paul and Jake Paul. And his Logan Paul has made uh, they used to do vlogs on YouTube so they kind of record their daily activities to get whatever. But the the, the most well, I'm going to just go out and say it. The most fucked up thing is these guys did a vlog in a suicide forest in Japan and recorded um, a dead body. It was like a, um, a man who had committed suicide by hanging himself from a tree. And they recorded him and he even went as far as to put him in the thumbnail of the video. Uh, now, just backtracking a little bit. I didn't know who these people were. Um, my little cousin, she's 10 years old, absolutely loves, um, I know it's Jake Paul, she might watch Logan Paul as well, I think the content is similar enough, they make like 10 minute videos every day, uh, of recording, you know, their lives and their, whatever the hell they do, but it's obviously very set up and it's, it's just like kids entertainment really, and I don't really mind that as such, like it's kind of mindless kind of nonsense and kids can kind of tune into it and get entertained and turn them off and it's whatever but like they have to be aware of like the 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 reach that they have you know like straight away when i seen that my little cousin she's fairly um say she'd be sensitive to stuff like that uh stuff happened before what was um i think a pet or something of hers died like a an animal or something like that and all, she, she, maybe most children go through this when it's the first kind of contact with death and all of a sudden it kind of shakes the world a little bit because all of a sudden it's like what What do you mean everything's not great and perfect anymore something can go wrong and it's like the first um, the first kind of brush with something I'd say truly negative in the world you know like maybe an early death or something and she, she, she just she's having trouble kind of trying to uh, understand death I suppose so she would kind of say like to her mom and that, you know, like what happens when we die or will I die with you or will this, you know, she just having trouble getting to terms with it. And I was just thinking, I hope to God she didn't see this video because that would really, really set her off. And not just her, but I think any child, not even any child, I think most people, they don't want to see a guy hanging from a tree who's after killing themselves. Like, I think that's going to upset a lot of people, you know. And maybe he just made a mistake. He, 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 I think when he got called out by it and he realised how stupid an idea it actually was, he kind of backtracked a bit and said, uh, like he, he was trying to be a, like an advocate for suicide, you know what I mean? Kind of spread awareness. Um, But like he wasn't. He obviously wasn't because I think he was doing it more for views or whatever. And years ago, I, I think I'd be extremely angry at him. I'd want to maybe even physically hurt him, all the rest of it. The way this, the, the way the world works, I don't really care anymore, to be honest with you. I just hope he learns his lesson, he moves on from it. And 
like keep doing what you're doing like first of all as much I tried to watch one of the videos before and it was fucking just unwatchable it's it's so it's so bad but I suppose it is aimed at kids um it's like as soon as you turn on the video he just never stops shouting and he never stops talking for one second the way it's edited is like he's nearly saying the next sentence before the the last letter of his first sentence is ended so it's like hey what's up guys and then he's straight on the, we're gonna do this and it's just this for like 10 minutes it's just this mindless crazy energy that is obviously just suited towards kids so it's like we don't even want to hear it like a a moment silence just keep at us with fucking words and noises and fucking whatever and that's it i'm like right whatever and one thing i will say is i think they've made like a vlog every single like day for like two years or something which is just unbelievable like the work ethic whatever is just incredible i'm not gonna say anything bad about that but you have to realize like the the the, the power the unknown like power they actually have even though it's over children but they're a very important part of the, like, um, I'm not going to say part of the world, obviously the part of the world. But I mean, like, even growing up, they're kind of shaping them unknowingly. You know what I mean? Like, if they're, one thing one thing I will kind of no notice is a lot of materialistic stuff is in the videos. Because I don't think they know what to make videos about each day. Because the content is very, um, uh, very structured and very, obviously... You know, they have actors and it's all fake and it's like, oh, we're drama, we're splitting up, you know, all, all this nonsense. But a lot of other stuff is like, look, the cars we have, look, the money we have, look at this, look at that. And he's very, very obnoxious in his videos. And a lot of kids, a lot of young children are just on YouTube looking at this every day. And it's it's nearly shaping their um, mindsets and outlooks in life very early, you know. And that's just how I feel. And... I kind of hope it doesn't come to that, but I hope it just doesn't feed into making kids have a more narcissistic view on life. You know, I hope it's not that. Um, so it's hard to tell nowadays because, like, I, when I grew up, I used to love shows like, um, like Keenan and Kel. I'm sure most people or should know of Keenan and Kel. Keenan and Kel, I used to watch Rugrats. Uh, oh my God, Doug. There was tons of shows like that, but like all the topics were. They had a neat show. I'll give you a great example. And one example that really took me back. So, my little brother is about 10 years younger than me. So, he must have been about, I'd say 9 or 10. Something like that. Maybe he was about 9 or 10. And he was watching a show. I think it was called iCarly or something. It was on Nickelodeon. And the storyline was, it was really weird because the girl in it as well was, was say, 9, 10, 12, something like that. And the whole storyline of this episode was she her boyfriend broke up with her and she just couldn't handle life anymore. She was crying and it was like um it was like an adult drama. Like there was no funny music, there was no punchline, it was like, Oh my god, he left me and I don't know what to do. I think I'm I feel ugly and the mother and or their best friend was like hugging her and it was like, Oh my god, it'll be okay eventually and things might happen and you might get him back and like, this is a full-on, like, children's cartoon on Nickelodeon. The same station I used to watch growing up. And that was a team. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, is this funny? This is supposed to be funny? Or, like, one of the brothers kind of watching it. I was like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I was just like, what? And I remember going, I used to watch Keenan and Kel. Like, the storylines in that program was, like, you know, Kel gets his head stuck in a fence. And then Keenan to try and get him out for the rest of the show or something. Oh, no. He was keen and got his head stuck in the fence, I think it was. Um, and then, like, what was it? He find a screw in a piece of tuna. And then he, he heats up the accident. And it turns out that Kel actually put the screw in the tuna. And that was it. That was it. That was what begins and ends. It was like, it was just funny comedy, you know? It didn't need to be any more than that because that's all it needed to be. It was amazing. I absolutely loved that show. And it was just kind of a... It was weird to see how, like, kid shows are now. They're so, like... They're trying to play an adult team straight away, you know? Um, I don't know if they're doing that on purpose or not, but I do find it a bit weird. But, you know, kind of let, let kids be kids, you know? That's just how I feel about it. And that's what I wanted to say. I think... See, there's, there's two brothers. There's Logan Paul and Jake Paul. And I think Jake Paul is the youngest brother. And I think Jake Paul was on the Disney Channel, I think it was. I think something happened, he got let go, and he's making vlogs. So he obviously knows how to how demographics work and how to 
make videos and content and, and whatever else to to that young people can uh say watch and explore and all other type of stuff. You know. And I think that's how he got his fame or whatever. But uh, yeah, it was a huge, huge blunder of, of an error of judgment. And I really hope it was an error of judgment and he really genuinely wasn't trying to use suicide as a clickbait. Well, I'm trying to say this, but in my head I'm thinking, if you look it up, you can find the thumbnail. And yes, people have, he deleted the video, people re-uploaded the video. Uh, not re upload sorry, uh, put up the thumbnail again. The thumbnail is like what you scroll through on YouTube and it's the picture that represents the video. You know what I mean? And uh, it's him doing, it's Logan Paul doing like this stupid shocked face. Wearing this stupid alien hat. And uh, it's some guy hanging from a tree. And it, it sounds like it's it's a comedy. It sounds like it's so over the top. But that's that's actually what he put on YouTube. It's a dead body hanging from a tree. And him just to the side of a photoshopped in. With this huge over the top expression of like a wow face or something. Wearing this stupid alien hat. And it's a, it's a dead body hanging from a tree. Um, I think he blurred out the face. Um, the version I seen was a re-upload. So obviously the person blurred out the entire body. But you get the gist of it, you know. It's like literally a person hanging from a tree. And him trying to um, say clickbait the title. Um, yeah. It's super fucked up. <laughs> it's super fucked up. But um, yeah. That's who we have looking after our children this day and age. So, yeah, that's good. Be interesting to see what comes of this as well. I'm going to get off this topic now in a minute, but I just want to finish off. But it'd be interesting to see what comes of it. He did a little shitty apology video and all the rest, but uh, it'd be interesting to see, you know, how, where his content goes from here. Not that I, I'm going to watch it, but just for parents, maybe worried if, you know, your kids watch this, this person's content or whatever. Just be aware that stuff like this can get underneath the radar and just I don't know just be careful of what they watch just because they're on YouTube doesn't mean they're they could be watching some weird fucked up shit and I didn't see I didn't hear much about this I heard a few people talking about it I think what was it, the scandal the sc the YouTube scandal called um, Elsa Gate or something like this apparently someone was making weird videos about Elsa and Spider-Man and Batman. and It was something to do with. They were pretending it was like. For children are getting millions and millions and millions of views. But it turns out if you watch the video. It was just complete random nonsense. Of just weirdness. Like it was just nuts. And um. I probably should look into it more before I talk about it. But fuck it. I don't, I don't really want to watch this weird shit. I'll probably end up watching half of this podcast, but yeah, it was. It's just, it's just weird. Um, so just, just because your child there is on YouTube doesn't mean there is some weird kind of fucked up shit that gets underneath the radar. So just, just be careful, you know. Um, yeah, just be careful of that. Uh, the only other things I have in my mind right now is, uh, is Trump. Uh. He was <laughs> he was tweeting again um, <laughs> about uh, Kim Jong Un, telling him he's got a bigger, a bigger in air quotations button. It was bigger and redder, bigger, pulsing, throbbing. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of feeling like there's some sexual tension between the two. You know, that's what I'm kind of getting from this whole thing. I'm going to get in some sexual tension between the two of them. I think the two of them will secretly have like a crush on each other or something. Can you imagine? That'd be hilarious. But yeah, it's it's pretty weird. This whole Trump thing. It's kind of, it just seems surreal at this point. Um, it really doesn't seem surreal. Like, my button's bigger than yours. <laughs> Like, you're supposed to hide the fact you've got a minuscule penis. Like, don't don't broadcast it to the world. It's just like, do you ever see as like a kind of like comedy or something like that, where this guy pulls up in this jeep that's just fucking way too big, and so you know the girl or something's like, you know, you're obviously overcompensating because you got a fucking 
a micro penis, an absolute micro penis. Um, remember seeing a, I think it was a video before. And it's something that you never think about. It's something that you never think about in this world, especially as a guy. That like, you know, sometimes you see porn videos and that, and the guys are just just stupidly big penises, and you're just like, well, what the fuck, like. But then you never realise there's people in this world, there's men in this world walking around. They could be anywhere. They could be the guy that sold your newspaper this morning. They could be a guy that, that, that brewed your coffee, that cooked your meal, that fucking walked your dog. And he's got a penis the size of a pea. Literally a pea. I've seen a video before. I don't know how. I think it was years ago. And you realise that... Actually, no, I remember seeing... It was like a serious documentary. I think it was on Channel 4. Um, It's an English channel. I um, don't know if, if anybody's American around the world might know it. And you do kind of like... Uh, some really some really good documentaries. And I think this was on micro penises. And it sounds so funny, but... Even I, I even laugh at the, at the whole concept of it. But w- when you think about it, it's like, that's actually terrible. Like, what would you do? What would you do? If, like, I don't even think they can have sex. I mean, some 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 of the people that were interviewed were like, I, I can't. Like, it's that small. It's like, it's like an outward belly button. Like, there's not even a, a shaft. It's just literally, like, it's like someone got a sword and cut off the end of someone's knob and then they just sell a tape to somebody. Just sell a tape to someone's stomach. And that's what it looks like. It's just, there's nothing else there. It's just this little weird pin shaped button. Like, it's like, what? You know? And, and they can't do anything. Like, imagine how sad you'd feel all the time. It's like, I, I, what am I supposed to do? It's just have this thing and it's like a, like, what can you do with it? What can you do? It's crazy. But it's something that you never give thought about. But you kind of just are so... You're just so... You're not... Like you have to just realise. If you're ever sitting there... Well, listen, I don't know what girls like. But just... As a guy. If you're ever feeling in a bad place. If you're ever feeling like, you know, life's not worth it. You know. Look at other people. Look at everything they have. They've got friends. They've got a, a girlfriend. A boyfriend. They're in love. They're... You have all this stuff and you're like, I don't have any of this. Just realise that you have a you have a penis that is over two inches in length, perhaps, hopefully. And if you don't even have that, I don't know what to say to you. Just um Like if it came down to that, just buy a penis pump and hope for the best. You know? I don't like how the fuck is that gonna work? But just like I don't know. Well, I know if someone is like a transsexual, um, what was it, male to female, they do some mad surgical procedure and they cut that bitch open, they, they, they just turn it inside out and slot it back inside you and all of a sudden, you know, you've got a vagina. So maybe they could do something like that and like take some of the, the stump and then put it onto a guy who's got like a micro penis and then just like, you know, extend it a bit. Could they do that? I say they could. I think I'm going to start up a, a petition. Trying to help out all my... Help out everyone in this world that has a micro penis. That's got to be devastating. That's got to be absolutely heartbreaking. Keep fighting the good fight. Yeah, so... If you have a micro penis, just, just, keep, just keep slogging away. It'll, it'll get better. Just, um, I don't know what to say to you. I don't know. I don't know. It's fucked up, man. So, yeah. Jake Paul made a made a vlog about a guy who hung himself in, in Japan and tried to clickbait it uh, with Trump and Kim Jong-un, who we suspect have a crush on each other. And uh, micro penises. So look, I'll probably leave it there for the first 
first podcast in a while. I just like rambling about shit, so I thought that was pretty fun. I'm trying to get the idea of micro penises out of my head. So uh, yeah, there we go. I'm just hoping to have nightmares tonight about micro penises. <coughs> so yeah, um, I don't know how long. I don't know uh, how often I'm gonna do these podcasts. I'll try and do them maybe twice a week. I have enough time, at least once a week, and I have to figure out where to upload them and all the rest. I might just do it on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel, so I might just keep going with that. And yeah, send feedback if you liked it. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.